Welcome back, doing some more Quantum Break tonight. We're kicking it off with Act 4, Part 1. We're here a little early. My wife is doing a little bit of work, so... Should be able to get through at least Part 1, maybe Part 2. We'll see how it goes. Mac also promised to play some Witcher tonight, and so if that happens, we'll we'll cut off there and let him let him do some Witcher. Act 4. The Secret History of Time Travel. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Emma. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Plan B. Let's just start shooting. I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Okay, it looks like here's one. Yep. What are we getting in this part? Just six. Okay, well I think that would be enough for my next upgrade. For time stop. Yes. Phenomenal. Okay, so next, let's do... Again, I don't really use time dodge that often. Time shield's already maxed out. Stop and go. You fully upgrade time stop or time dodge. Neat. Got time blast. I guess we'll focus on time rush next. So we'll do, we'll do time rush. Unless I get some kind of new skill between now and then. But it said there was I another... The higher ground and oh, I see it's up there. Okay. So we'll climb up here, climb up here, oops, climb up here, climb up here, I'm looking at the bridge right now. and we'll so walk over here. I don't know, maybe you can sneak across? Well, maybe. Alright, and that one should get me... No? Okay, alright, that's fine. Or I can pick you up, let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Paul. What the actual fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, X. Okay, yes. Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Get to the chopper. Let's check out what's on the tube. Still there? Yeah, just looking for a viewpoint. Is that Twilight Zone? So, we don't know where he is. We can't, uh, we can't find him. So we need to look into a, you know, a, uh, a replacement. Interesting, I'm not sure what that is, but okay. Ooh, cutscene, here we go. We still have no visual on 
on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. Right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay. Those of you just there. tuning in, the manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. The suspect in last night's university terror attack. Joyce may also have been involved in a firefight at the Monarch Mansion on Gull Island approximately 30 minutes ago. No, I was, I was, yeah. We have Ken Bukowski, a bridge operator for the Port Donnelly Bridge. Ken, what can you tell us about the situation out there? Hey, I just want to give a shout out to my little guy. Hey, Ben, hope you're listening. <laughs> Isn't it past his bedtime? He'll be up reading those Hunger Games books if I know him. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm just out here in the control booth overlooking the bridge. Monarch's got a roadblock set up, checking all the cars as they go through. It's all very well organized. I got a nice young fellow from Monarch up here, Darren, doing some kind of lookout from above. He's not a coffee drinker, so there must be something wrong with him. Like, legally, how can they do that? Like, what relationship do they have with the police to be able to just set up a roadblock? to assist the police in the hunt for Jack Joyce. I know some people have asked, does Monarch have the authority to do this? <laughs> My question is, if not Monarch, then who? I think we need to recognize that we are currently in a state of crisis. Why isn't Joyce behind bars? If the police are overwhelmed, then I say we take all the help we can get. Monarch is the only thing keeping this city safe. Am I right, Ken? I guess... That makes sense. You bet it does. I suggest we stop asking why they're helping us and start helping them. But that's just me. We're opening the lines for your thoughts, Riverport, right after this. <laughs> okay, it's kind of funny that you know, she said that right as I did. Oh, and I thought that was a current on source. I got excited for a minute. Just a big bright light. I thought that was a thing. Okay. Oh, that was just telling me where to go. I see. Okay. Oh, but we're coming up with another one. Is it like right behind here, or is it outside? It's to be outside. Okay. Damn it. Better hurry. Cool. Oh. Let's turn around and grab this. Beautiful. We're working to apprehend a dangerous criminal, the terrorist known as Jack Joyce. Thanks for your continued patience. Please talk to one of our security personnel if you have anything. Oh, really? I think that's Jack Joyce. Cool. As I say, I know there's more of them coming. Oh, these fuckers. Ah, 
Ah, uh, remember when I thought these guys were challenging? Oh shit. There we go. Easiest way to fight them is after they teleport, just um, unload on them. Do I have a assault rifle? No, all I have is this. Okay. Oh, it's not. Uh, rather have the assault rifle. I like the assault rifle better. Oh shit. As soon as the stutter hit, her boat couldn't get to you. No, but it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it, slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. Oh, turn around. Get up turn on the and make my way across it before the stutter ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there, dude. But first, we collect the Kernon source. more to find, Jack. <sighs> the scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were. The heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorists. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I see. I can't jump over the car, which is weird. They really have to get me. No, sir. I'm gonna shake it back in the ship, dude. Damn it, stay in the ship, son. Okay, so far that's actually worked out to my advantage. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, great. Refill of my assault rifle ammo. Excellent. Alright, where was I supposed to go? Oh, this way, I see. Okay, cool. Wow, I don't know how I actually got through that. There was, like, nowhere to hide for cover. Besides, behind, except behind cars, which would explode. Okay, looks like the last one is over here. It's way out there. Oh, that's okay, I can grab it. Alright, got all the chronon sources, so let's upgrade time rushed. Oh, I can't even, I don't even have enough to put in. Oh, I have highlighted the wrong thing. Uh, excellent. So after time rush, I guess time stop? Or time, or time dodge, or time vision. I don't really use either. I guess I'll do time vision next. I'll probably be the next thing I do. All right, that's it. Whoa, freaky. Well, that's not good. What the hell's wrong with this boat? And now in the blue hell did I get wind up getting stuck like that? Oh no. This is so bad. <sighs> oh, I didn't realize he was a superhero. This is Captain Obvious. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Um yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Run home, Jack! Oh, that's that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, good. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow I had to find my way across. <laughs> How convenient. Um, hello. There, I don't know why it was not uh not time stopping there for me. Uh I feel like I should be able to climb up on this thing. That was just a bad camera angle, I suppose. Yeah. Ah. I 
kept heading downwards towards the cargo ship. down wasn't exactly user friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. <laughs> okay, so apparently just running into the car is enough to kill me. <laughs> Oh, this is where I'm back at? Really? I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. down wasn't exactly user friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. Okay. Chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Watch out. Watch out for that thing too. Yo, I'm not sure jumping over this the front of this boat is the best idea if this boat's continuing to go you know, forward. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. Act 4, Part 2. If you don't understand the power you're wielding, you need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We've prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. I'm trying to talk to Beth here, not not that. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, 
In the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. His name's Martin Hatch. According to Monarch Radio, he's been deemed a traitor. Sabotaged a Monarch lab. Potential ally? Not even close. at the Port Donnelly Bridge that has claimed multiple lives is still being investigated. At least a dozen people are confirmed dead, and investigators say they expect to find more bodies, some of which are predicted to be found in the cars at the bottom of the river. The cause of the accident remains unclear. Adding to the confusion are conflicting reports from shipboard personnel and those on dry land. The captain of the cargo ship insists that the bridge was up and the route was clear. However, some people shoreside claim the cargo ship was approaching the bridge at high speed, despite the bridge having not yet been raised. Others express surprise at the ship's presence, claiming that they do not see its approach at all. The investigation is still ongoing. We'll keep you posted. Now, obviously, this disaster will affect us in more ways than one. With the Port Donnelly Bridge out of commission, heavy congestion is expected on the other routes across the river, and we now have reports coming in of multiple car crashes all over Riverport. So you will want to reserve enough time for your trip today if you're traveling by car. Stay safe out there. Hopefully we can all get back to normal soon. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. You think Will told her about it? No. Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. Will takes it to the next level. When we were kids, the only way that Will could express anything important to me was by informing my stuffed giraffe when I was in the room. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There. Where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Before we do that, we've got a current on source here. First one's always fun because you find out how many that you're going to find this level. Ooh, only three. It's going to be a short, short well, level. The numbers don't lie. Okay, I guess I'm doing some climbing. Yes, I guess you. Okay, the console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. Hmm. <laughs> I guess it, this way is probably...
pretty. It's right about. It's actually inside it? Down? Oh, it's down a level. Okay, see, I can get down. supposed to be up here. Yeah, man, it's, uh, can't figure out where I'm supposed to go. I guess the ladder. Yeah, I guess I'm not supposed to be up here. Okay. Well. So where to now? Guess we'll go over here. Jack, you've got to see this. All right, where are you? Oh, she's over here. Okay. I'm serious, Jack. This is big stuff. I've well, I'm here, woman. Calm the hell down. Hey. Shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. All right, show me what you got. All right, what is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're gonna wanna see it. Everything else I printed out and put on tables over there. Cool, let's check it out. work. My machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built a time machine and it works. I'm gonna prove it or die. Okay, just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay. Core is active. Chronon levels are stable. I'll travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor is locked in place. Okay. Or you could just, you know, change so your watch inside the machine. To the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive. But I can't travel backwards in time, only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is, well, now. Okay. Machine's ready. Monitor is stable. It's going to change the very fabric of the world. I don't remember. Hmm. All right, she said there was more stuff around the... Oh, I see. Okay, so that was from the episode.
anybody here we can trust? Fiona. She's my only remaining contact on the inside. She's not on the inside anymore. What about this Burke guy? He was under arrest in the same transport as me. Jury's still out on Burke. <laughs> I didn't say Charlie was a dick. He is a like dick. Boat. Yeah. Well, according to Monarch Communications, Paul Serene just activated that thing. Far sooner than they were supposed to. What does that mean? <laughs> Means we have less time than I hoped. Interesting. Serene's original manifesto for Monarch. They had us practically memorize this. He actually believes he's doing the right thing. Well, he doesn't think the fracture can be stopped. And he's wrong. I mean, to be fair, it does look like he is trying. He's like, okay, this is my fault. No way to fix it. So here's how we're going to try and fix it. It's this giraffe. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. Hmm. Huh. Guess you thought you might come back. I will. Six is years ago. Yep. Will's personal psychiatrist. Want to give it a try? I think that giraffe's holding enough baggage. Jack? You okay? Yeah. rebel phase complete with a very rebellious how-to guide I always want what's wrong Toto. deja vu that's my signature you made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this, filled with 
dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Hey, Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. Cool. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. Distant mirror. Beth told you about how she met herself. Okay, why can't I? On here, let's look at the. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. Jesus. Maybe it's on the other side of this wall, I guess. Notebook was full of dates. Events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Nice. Toto, I guess it rains down in Africa. Looks climbable. Beautiful. Yes, it does look climbable. For what purpose am I climbing it? Okay. Why the hell would your brother put maintenance controls way up there? That's exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind while building this thing. Hey, I think I can get to the reset from here. the last one. Alright. Do I have anything I can purchase? I have six points. That's pretty good. Oh, and I can get multi-takedown. Wonderful. Alright, so next up we will work on time vision. What do we got here? Okay, the first red light is now green. Is 
So this one's over there. Okay. So I think I have to go back down and... find a way up on the other side. Okay, it's up there. Yeah. Okay, so apparently I was... I do need to be... Oh, I don't... I wasn't up here is what the problem was. I was walking around down there. Okay. Cool. Alright, well. There. Shows you what I know. Alright. All lights are green. Lights are green. The trap is clean. Ghosts are held here in our custom-made storage facility. the date where is she where is she i had no choice i couldn't let you take the countermeasure it would put our entire plan at risk i already called monarch from the terminal they're on their way it's over really woman we need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat Follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016.
Bradford coming at you on 4th of July. And what a fine day it is, too. Things are looking up for Riverport. Huh, don't believe me? Just look at that shiny new Monarch building going up. That's a big deal for this town. Sure, I know there's been complaints. Talking about how Monarch's tearing down this or that. Taking over the mom and pop spots. Making Riverport more corporate. Huh, some of that's happening. It ain't all good. A huge corporation like that, you know, they're all about power and profit. But I say, hold on there. Put it in perspective. This town's been miserable for a long time. A long time. When our shipbuilding industry took that final nosedive, we hit one hell of a slump. A lot of people I know have been unemployed for years now, and that's hard. But Monarch's here. And they're starting to change that big time. So they ain't perfect. So what? It beats the alternative. I want to be optimistic about this. It ain't wrong to have a little hope for the future. I want to believe that this is capitalism working as intended, you know? The American way, you could say. It's locked. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. What the... Someone's in here. Who the hell is that? The fuck are they shooting at? Probably Beth doing target practice. Thing. Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. Interesting. Williams machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't you, hey, hey, don't hey, you, hey, don't hey, you. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Ah. It's okay. I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. You can thank me. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always mm, was. Oh, just there three again. Go. Okay. Eleven years.
looks like there's some over there. I'll unlock the door. You do that. So way. where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then that's where we go. So unlock it, woman. There's a chronon source on the other side of this door. Good job, Beth. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. Well, let's go get them then. What you don't know, that you never saw. I. I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know where's Wait, let me just check out this room and make sure it's not in here. I told you once our because it is in here. Alright. So that's all from this room, and we wanted to do this one, but we don't have enough points for it, so I have to wait till the next level. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. Need gear? Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river, along with everything else I've brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Yeah, Hatch is kind of a mystery. Ready to go. Okay. The countermeasures at Will's workshop. We find it, then what? You bring it back here. Use the machine and return to the future. I actually like the carbine rifle. To stop the fracture. It was always the plan. The assault is rifle, the plan. okay. Yes. Damn, she's got some guns here. You followed Paul to 1999. Why did he travel what's so the far? SMG? Back? To form Monarch. Prepare for what's coming. First fire pistol. He kept tabs and on him. And he's kept tabs on me. Oh, I guess I didn't talk to you then. Okay, let's do it. Can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. Don't make promises you, you can't keep. Still don't get it. it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Alright, we're going to stop here. Thank you for watching. See you next time.